What's up gamers? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to unlock easily all 15 Skyview Towers in Tears of the Kingdom. Watchtowers reveal the map and make traveling around to quest in the area much easier because you can see the landscape and know exactly what you're going to be running into. You can mark areas of interest from the map by being high above as soon as you launch out of one of these Skyview Towers. Use your Pura pad to mark shrines, mark different locations if you see them. That way you're able to head to those locations very simply by doing this. Another benefit of unlocking all the Skyview Towers is also that you'll be able to reveal the Sky Islands above you. That way when you launch up from the Skyview Towers, you can simply just glide over to a Sky Island. Lookout Landing is gonna be pretty simple. You pretty much, as soon as you fall down from the Sky Islands to the main surface, you go to Lookout Landing, you go ahead and you talk to Pura. After talking to Pura, you're gonna head to the Hyrule Castle area area to talk to a guard, come back to Pora, and then she'll give you the paraglider, and then you can access that tower and jump out from it to unlock the area. Also, by doing the lookout landing Skyview Tower, it pretty much shows off all the other tower spots on the map. This is the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower, and this is going to be one of the first ones you can get to, or really fast. It's pretty much just south of the Lookout Landing Skyview Tower, and here's pretty much how to do it really quick, because they, they did show this one off in the previews. First, you want to get underneath the area, and you want to ascend up as fast as you can. There you go, like that, and we can pop another ascend here. You'll probably get closer, but just get to the top view ascend. Once you're up over here, these guys are going to knock down a wooden ball. You can either fuse this to a weapon, or you can pick it up and drop it. Get past these enemies. You don't have to fight them, like I said. You can run around them if you find a way, just like that. And you're going to dart straight to the tower. You can avoid the boss. You don't have to fight anyone here. And as soon as you get to this door here, pop it open. Whoa. And click on that. That'll unlock this entire area. This guy's about to kill me, which is really funny. But it just shows that you can bypass this whole thing and it doesn't need to be unlocked by fighting all the enemies in the area. And then right after that, this part of the map will be revealed to you, the surface map and the above map. And then once you're falling from the first Skyview Tower, simply just get on your power glider real fast and we're gonna target the next one we're heading to. I kinda like the looks of this one over here. That's looking good. Look for any closer ones if possible and start already gliding towards that spot. So once I mark up that spot on the map, I'm gonna be heading towards this one. And this technique is pretty much what you're gonna do once we reach every Skyview Tower. There's no particular order you have to do it in. Just pretty much, you get a faster glide towards that area once you spot it on your map. So let's head over to this one so I can show you how to do it. While I'm heading to this Gerudo Canyon Tower, check this out. Things do fall from the sky. So when you turn on your ability to kind of recall it back, that's going to go take you up to the sky and make it a little bit faster to get across. So do this and always be on the lookout for these rocks falling as you're traveling to an area. Helps out so much because there's a giant canyon I have to cross. And let me tell you something. Having this as an advantage to cross is going to be huge. Because look at that, now I'm fully above this canyon area. It's gonna go to the max. I'm gonna wait toward to get maximum height. And I'm gonna use that to my advantage to get across this entire spot. So make sure to do that as we continue heading towards this tower or any tower. Now the Gerudo Desert is pretty hot. So what you wanna do is you can drop any water fruit or splash fruit and you can hit it. And that'll cool you down for a second. You can see my temperature change. Or what you can do is you can add a sapphire to your weapon and that'll cool you down quite a bit in the area. At nighttime, you're going to probably want to heat up because it gets cold here. So you would attach a ruby and wear probably your snow pants. That, that helps you a bit, which you get from the beginning of the game. So at nighttime, you can also wear your archaic warm greaves. Anyway, we're going to continue. If you need to also have protection while you're heading to the spot, Make sure to hop in the shade because that does give you a temporary relief. That is the way to survive here while heading to that thing. And th there you go. There's another one that fell down. Another tip to use is always use Ascend when climbing these high surfaces when heading towards your tower. If Ascend shows up, make it a habit because you can go through objects a lot faster than just wall climbing every single thing. Okay, there's my stone to do recall. So I'm going to hop on top of this. And that puts us so much closer towards the spot. And we're just going to drop. Also, there's a dragon there. You can actually jump on these dragons and hit them and get stuff. So if you're, you're on these towers, that's also another advantage. 
but we'll have a whole separate video talking about dragons, so don't worry about that. All right, so head down over here. Now we're literally right by the tower. And you'll notice there's somebody here at the bottom of this trying to get up here. So what's the only way to bring that person up here? Because this is probably not going to open at all. And when it does, it's not going to let you access it. Let me eat some food real quick because I am hot. So what you want to do is immediately go to the backside over here. Get your ultra hand ready. There's a big metal one right here. Pick that up like this. And we're going to get this worker to come up here so he can fix the tower for you. Just go ahead, attach it to that. That's going to come down. Wait a second. Make sure to put it directly in the middle. There we go. There we go. He needed to be in the middle. There he is. And then he's going to talk to you. After he does talk to you, he gives you some food. And then it's already fixed. As you can see, it's not glowing anymore. And then you can access this tower. And rinse and repeat. We're going to lift off here and head towards the next one that you see. When you get to the Gerudo Highlands Tower, it's going to be very cold. So make sure to have your archaic boots on plus a weapon because uh, that has a fire thing attached to it. If you don't have any fire weapon or anything, I think your character starts to get a little more cold here. So you can either attach a ruby, a fire dragon skill. That should help you out with heating you up. When you approach this tower, you're going to notice there's actually no door in this area. And there's only going to be a little camp here that gives a clue that there is a cave nearby. Now, the cool part about this is their cave is literally right in front of this camp. So you got to read that camp log. They'll talk about supplies being in a cave. Ooh, star fragment. And then you're going to head into this cave. So you're first going to come down into the cave. When you're in the cave, you're going to want to use your ultra hand and place down a wood and ride that down. That wood is then going to drop you down into a waterfall that you're going to fall down in the water. You're then going to have to use another piece of wood to go down this water that is flowing all the way down. Hop on that. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure to have it go right underneath this wooden tower. Once you're right underneath it, you're going to want to use Ascend. That's going to bring you right up to the Skyview Tower. You're going to notice it's surrounded by snow. That's why you couldn't find the entrance. And then simply, you're just going to stick in your slate there and fly and unlock that area. While we're in the air in the Skyview Tower, you should probably hit that subscribe button so that Link can beat all these monsters and we can get to 500k. It's really simple and you'll get a lot of tips and tricks like this. This next location is going to be Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. So this place is not too hot, not too cold. It's pretty much going to be west of the Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. You're going to notice you're surrounded by water completely now there's a lot of things you can do here you can either put down some fans and launch yourself up there if you have a rocket shield you can jump up to the top and fly but if you don't have any of those supplies and you're simply just like hey i gotta get over there you can quickly just build a tiny bridge so you can start climbing it so go ahead and just auto build it so you can have the water completely there this is like the most bare bones basic way to go to this spot just grab these woods like this Put them all together. There we go. I've made an abomination. And then I'm going to take my giant, <laughs> my giant wooden set <laughs> bridge I built. And you're just going to go up. There you go. So that's one, two, three. This is this is the most uh, jank way of going. Okay, you clearly don't need that many that I did, but there you go. And that's how you get to Linder's uh, Brow Skyview Tower. Just like that. That is the using only the materials there to come up here. And then you unlock this part of the map. For the Ross Pro Skyview Tower, this is going to be located in the Heber region top left. We're kind of just unlocking all of the left side of the map for you first. This is going to be pretty much a cold area, so you're going to want to make sure that you have your fire weapon as well as your archaic pants. Now, there's two ways of going in. One, you could just fly from a higher point onto the platform. Or two, if you have the fire weapon on you, you could just go ahead and burn the thorns that are blocking your path. Very simple to do that. And use that uh, wind to lift up or just burn and, and wait for them to go in. Okay, there you go. You've got Rust Pro. The next tower that we're going to be going for is going to be all the way up here at the Paquita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. Now, this one's going to look really daunting, but the best way to probably go about it is come from Rito Village over here. And from Rito Village, you're going to go up this pathway. You're going to hit the Snowfield Stable and move from the Snowfield Stable up this pathway towards the area. So start climbing right from the shrine over here, right by the stable towards this tower. Now, they've actually included a little pathway here to make your lives easier instead of, you know, having to do some Assassin's Creed kind of jumping another spot. So we have a ladder over here, which I will mark on my map right exactly at this spot. There's a ladder here. There's the coordinates on my screen if you want to see it. Feel free to screenshot coordinates at any time to make your lives easier. Then we have a little bridge they put over here as well, which is really helpful. Then you're going to climb this bridge. Oh, 
look, dragon. Ice enemies will instantly die to flame weapons. So if they do come at you, you're you're good because you already got your flame weapon. Then you're going to have this little part where you got to repair a bridge here. Nothing too crazy. Just get your ultra hand and uh, pretty much get to work on that. OK, there we go. I built I built my kind of uh, jank bridge. <laughs> it's not the best bridge, but it's something. It's beautiful. All right, then just climb up there and simply just walk inside of the tower and open it up. There's no other tricks to that besides getting up here. There's probably other ways. You could probably a hot air balloon depending on what you have, but that is using the materials there to get up. So for the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower, there are a lot of stones that just fall out of the sky for absolutely no reason. And all you got to do is get to the top of that and just dive in from the top since the cap is broken. So. I like to just hop on any stones I find. Let this pretty much be the thing that gets you to the top. And then you're going to see a hole open right above it. And then go ahead and just drop down just like that. There you go. Woo! And you land. And then you can go ahead and talk to that guy, open up the door and then take off. And you have this entire thing unlocked. Or you can just climb up the tower if you're not lucky enough to get a sky block that just falls that you can use recall on just to simply just get to the top. This is the Typhlo Ruin Skyview Tower. And this one is going to be located all the way up north, all the way up north. So just go all the way up here. And there's going to be a little little bridge or pathway entrance to walk towards that. So just head towards the tower. Now, once you get at the tower. OK, so for this Skyview Tower, pretty much you're going to talk to this bird. The bird's going to tell you that it is out of order and something is blocking the tower. So what you want to do is you back up, you look up and you see that there is something on top of the entire thing. So start to climb up the side and start to see the platforms that are around this tower, you'll notice that this is stuff from the Sky Islands and they can be easily moved by using Zonai technology. You can use rockets to get higher on some of them. You could use fans to go higher as well. Basically, once you work your way to the top, you want to remove that top one so you can throw fans on it like me. I'm attaching fans over here and I'm just getting this off the top. The moment the top is cleared, the tower will completely open up and then you can go ahead and jump out and the area will be revealed. This is the Upland Zorana Tower. It's going to be all the way. It's a very high climb. But remember, just like I mentioned before, use sky rocks and use all these other things to your advantage to get over to these towers. Now, you're going to be finding a splash fruit plant right by this tower. Now, it's there for a reason. What you're going to have to do is you're going to throw the splash fruit on anything that looks muddy. So you could throw it at the door to clear it. So open up the tower. And also there's a character just trapped in that on the floor. So just go ahead and get him out of that, too, by throwing a splash fruit there. Once you do that, it's pretty much it. You have the entire tower open up and you could go ahead in it and fly. Remember, again, this is quite a climb, but you can use other sky view towers to get closer to it as well as using the sky blocks and your typical climbing to get up and get over to this place. And this will pretty much reveal the whole entire area by Zora's domain. This next sky view tower is going to be in the northeast part of your map. So this is going to be located here in the Akala area. And basically what you want to do is climb up to this area and start running up this hill. There's going to be a couple monsters on the way. It's going to reveal the tower as you get to it. And you're going to see a guy telling you basically that there needs to be a monster that needs to be killed in order to get the part. Literally, all you have to do is attach a piece eye to an arrow so you can get a direct hit on it. Boom, hit him and it drops the piece. Then go ahead and just ultra hand that piece or carry it, whatever you want to do, and bring it back to this guy and put it right over there. And it should trigger even if you don't put it on the stand and he installs it and fixes it for you. And that's pretty much how to do the Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. The next Skyview Tower we're going to is the Sahasra Slope Skyview Tower. This is literally going to be completely east of the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower. So east of that, you're going to be approaching that tower. And as you're heading over there, you're going to see someone in front of the door. Go ahead and talk to that person. And they're going to tell you that the doors will not open. When usually in the game, something doesn't open and there's no way to get to it. Uh, you think, hey, can I go from above? Or the real big one, can I go from below and use the ascension ability? So what you're gonna do is hop off that area, drop down, and then you're going to enter the cave on your map located right over here by the shrine. Go ahead and use an arrow to blow up 
those areas, break apart all the rocks down here because there's treasure and other things as well. Then you're gonna go ahead and move this little rock structure here. There's a little secret room here. Grab that frog, but that frog is gone. And that'll show that the cave is complete with a check mark. After that, go back out to the exact room where you moved the rocks and then ascend up right from there. That'll bring you directly under the tower. The bird is going to be completely shocked by you. And after that, you're gonna move these little sticks here because they're blocking the door. Who did that? I have no idea. I don't even know how they close the door. Anyway, uh, at that point, you're gonna open it up for him. He's gonna get inside and uh, do his work, fix it, and the tower should finally be working. And you can then finally have this area unlocked. The next one is going to be the Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower. This is literally going to be a little bit southwest of where we were from the Sahasra Slope Skyview Tower. So you could probably fly up from there and come down to here. So once you arrive at Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower, you're going to go to the door and you're going to see that the thing is not working as usual. And you're going to see someone down the well right in front of it. So just head down that well. Don't die. Break some rocks down here. And you're going to go find this guy. He's going to be in the middle of something saying, oh, I'm over here. Basically, you have to go to the to the opposite side and get me out. But then you're like, oh, I got to go the opposite side. So literally, after you see that switch and he tells you there's a cave entrance on that side, you're going to get out the well and you're going to head towards the cave entrance, which is going to be on your map once you're done gliding go into the cave it should say the exact name and then step on that platform by you stepping on the platform the guy is then going to run out of there pretty much and you can go back up to the top and that's it you're done that sky view tower is now unlocked and you've unlocked the area also i don't know why i, I keep calling it poopla for some reason it's popla the Rubella Wetland Skyview Tower is going to be pretty much just south of the Sahasra Slope Skyview Tower. So when you arrive here, you're going to notice it's raining. You're also going to see a lot of thorns around the area. Now, this is going to be simple. You're going to think, I oh, got to burn it, but it doesn't really work. So what you want to do is go to these little wood areas right here, the building stuff, and put together a really long wooden platform attach it all and then lift it up and put it right above the thorns and make sure to place them on both of the platforms over there that are just perfectly in the spot after that all you got to do is go ahead and burn the thorns and the front door should be open to enter into this tower and then you can just unlock this area this next tower is going to be all the way on this side of the map, Mount Lanayru Skyru Tower. It's gonna to be all the way to the east, pretty much um, in this location right about here. And you're gonna see it's a pretty big steep to climb or slope, but luckily you can see in some of this gameplay, there are rocks that fall down that are sky rocks. So you can use those to climb up. It's not really an insane climb because some of the rocks are pretty not all the way up vertically. So you can make a nice jog up there. And if you can do a little ascension at certain points, you can. There are little spots to do ascension. So it's going to be pretty easy. So just simply climb up there. There's no secret puzzles once you arrive there. And you will be pretty much done with Mount Lanero once you get to the top. Just open it up and you'll have this entire area unlocked. Just make sure to stay nice and warm. Now that you've unlocked all the Skyview Towers, there's a lot of other things you got to do in the game. So click on this video to see what to do next.